So this is uh, this is exciting. Um, doing a podcast, new I think to everybody. Have y'all done a podcast before? Just just no. listen to a bunch. No, yeah. <laughs> so uh, open kicked off today, so that's cool. Um, Kelsey, you've done it. Yes. How you feeling? Uh, my hamstrings are a little taut, but I don't know if that's because of previous workouts this week <laughs> or yeah or uh, that workout. But it was good. I like it. Yeah. Any, then, any pointers for us the scrubs that haven't done it yet? Um. Definitely pacing is probably the biggest thing. <sighs> My heart rate's which, already Which was the hardest movement? Um, I was Besides the... Besides muscle. <clears throat> well, I didn't do any of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I was the most uncomfortable during the cleans. Um, just because it's at the end. Yeah. And I kind of already had it in my head. Like, this is what I need to be focused on versus yeah. the muscle ups. Um, so. Yeah. Felt yeah. heavier than 95 pounds for sure. Yeah. Once you get there, you're pretty fatigued. So. You're saying things that I need you to not say. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. It will be. It'll yeah. be fun. Open's it's, always a good time. It's definitely, uh, there's definitely other ones that I would have not wanted to see as a repeat besides this one. Well, how many times have you done it? Lots. <laughs> At least 10. That's insane. This was one of my, it's crazy. One of my favorite ones. So. Well, that means the pressure's on. Yeah, people are I, gonna hear I this won't. podcast next week and see that you got beat. Yeah, <laughs> I, I fully expect Shane to to beat me. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Speaking of Shane, he's not here. He's getting his drug, getting a drug test. <laughs> hopefully, he's negative. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He'll be here next week, though. Hopefully. Test him for PEDs. Yeah, before the open. <laughs> keep positive. <laughs> I love it. Um, cool. <laughs> yeah. So let's... Uh, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Yeah, we're going to talk about our backgrounds, okay? Um, so, yeah, what's our uh, fitness backgrounds and how things got started just in general with your love of fitness and whatnot? So, Kelsey, we'll start with you. How'd oh, you get gosh. into working out and everything? All that good stuff. Before All CrossFit. Good stuff. Yeah, even before yeah. CrossFit. Take Our us through your life. So, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, so, I did not play sports in high school. Um, so surprising. Yeah. You're such an athlete. A waste. I know, right? Uh, I got a job instead. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, after high school, I decided to start bodybuilding. I, I don't, I feel like bodybuilding is a weird term. Yeah. Because when you think bodybuilding, you think, like, the com- like the competitors, like and bikini I wasn't, tra- body, yeah, I wasn't trying to in do a bikini that. Yeah, I was just trying to like look good, you know. Um, so I started doing that. Went to Club One Fitness. Thank you. It was a good time. What we call what, those? Club what does that look like, like <laughs> compared to our style of working out? Uh, it's a little less in- intense, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, like I did not get my heart rate up every day. I would do like thirty minutes on the stair climber, which was, which was intense. That is good, yeah, yeah that's great. But as far mm-hmm. as like, you know, variability, like do this, thirty of these, and thirty of these, and run here and mm-hmm. do that. Like I didn't do any of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it was like leg day. Yeah. Back and back. More pump and chasing. Yeah, 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 just to look good, you yeah. know. A lot more nutrition focused too. Uh or? yeah, I would say. Um, I kind of had a hard time with that though, because I was like trying to do low. Uh, carb and then like unknowingly I did low fat also Mm -hmm. so I was probably deprived and that's Mm -hmm. I had a really low body fat which that was like my goal but as far as health I probably wasn't as healthy yeah you know what I mean yeah Yeah. um so I did that and one of my friends had asked me to come do Murph with her this may have been 2000 maybe 17 <clears throat> and uh and i went and done murph very skilled mm-hmm. probably did like knee push-ups I, I think i did cindy the, the rounds of cindy. yeah and uh ring rows and then i remember i like thought it wasn't enough yeah. and i went and done like more globo stuff uh-huh, after because uh-huh. i was i guess that's I just, interesting well i yeah. mean because it was fast then, yeah right very like, skilled very yeah. skilled yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then my next, I didn't do CrossFit after that, so I, I had no inter- interest at all. That was at Stoked in Oxford. And uh, and then after that, uh, another friend invited me to come do a hero workout. I believe it's on Veterans Day. Was that what it was? Yeah, I think so. Is that here? Yeah. 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 I, remember, I, remember I don't remember the that. workout. Witten. Witten yes. was the workout. Yes. Yeah. I love that workout. <clears throat> so I did that, 
got capped. It's much different. Uh, I remember Tom. seeing you, and I was like, oh, my gosh, look at her arms. Yeah, Kate was my coach. Oh, my gosh. Was good. I was so intimidated. Your <clears throat> arms were. They didn't do much of anything but look good. <laughs> they so. looked great. <laughs> uh, so did that, and then I did a few workouts at Bellow at the uh, mm-hmm. storefront or whatever you call it, and uh, and then I ended up going to Stoke because I worked in Lincoln. Mm-hmm lived in Watt Plains by the interstate so I stayed at Stoke for a little while and worked out there and now met I'm, the love of your life I did yeah he, he took a while but what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. yeah yeah so that's, that's we'll all have him on here one I, day yeah, yeah we'll talking about oh, that. for sure <laughs> oh, I loved being a part of y'all's relationship at the beginning of it oh yeah because we were real close to him yeah uh-huh. so before we even knew you he was like you showing, knew me. You. <laughs> yeah, showing us messages. That was cool. Yeah, it was. I've never messaged him stuff. back. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, wound up here coaching. So coached a little bit there at Stoked and then came over here. Uh, I think y'all were needing a coach. Y'all had advertised you needed a coach. And I was kind of ready to do something different, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, here I am. Scaling and bailing. Oh, my yeah. goodness. <laughs> well, sweet. Yep. Well, Kate, what about you? What's your fitness background? I mean, I know it, but... Mm, tell, know. tell the world. Tell the world. Tell the world. Um, I played soccer my whole life. That's why I came to Jacksonville from Georgia originally. Came over here, played soccer. Uh, loved it. And I had actually done... CrossFit at CrossFit Fellow for a week because y'all used to do week mm-hmm. uh, when it was on the first spot on 204 and a bunch of soccer girls went but our coach did not like that we went so we were not allowed to keep going uh, but I enjoyed it I don't remember you at all I don't know if you were there probably wasn't there yeah I just dropped it in between classes and worked out by myself and left yeah and you would have remembered it I would I would have remembered you yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I stopped doing, or I didn't do CrossFit until I was done playing soccer. And I was getting a little, a little thick. Didn't know how to <laughs> stop eating what I was eating when I was playing <laughs> soccer. <laughs> and just thinking I could work out on my own, I could not. Uh, so the guy I was dating at the time did CrossFit and encouraged me to go to Thello. <clears throat> Went to Thello. Met John. So you were dating this guy and then went to Thello. Yep. How fun. Yep. (laughs) He pushed me right into John's arms, basically. (laughs) Yeah, they were still dating when when we met. Yep. Yeah, and then he and I broke up, and then it took John forever to realize he loved me, but we got there. It really wasn't that long. (laughs) (laughs) It felt really long. Three to five business days. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, uh, started dating you, got married. Got my level one the month before we got married. Yeah, pretty quick after. Yep. Um, they've been coaching since then. Hanging out. We've been in how many different buildings together? Four? Uh, I was not at the very first one. Trail. Oh, okay. Yeah. It has another one. <laughs> yeah. that we, were, we literally worked at outside. It was outside, yeah. After that the was, tornado for yeah. like a month. For like four, maybe three or four weeks. Yeah. Just worked at outside. It was fun. That's cool. All the times, but yeah, <clears throat> been here, four, been doing all the things. Then Ladiga, then behind or across from Walmart, mm-hmm. Sparks Building, then the storefront, yep. and then mm-hmm. this is our last building. We are almost coming up on this being the longest we've ever <laughs> been in one place. Yeah. How long were we on 204? Uh, the building that I, when I took yeah. over, we started in, It we were in there for two and a half years. Okay. So... This is the start of our second year, right? Does start it start of twenty twenty? Oh, start of our third start year. Start of our third year. So this summer it'll be the yeah surpass the two and a half year mark. That's awesome. Hopefully we stay here. This has been the best. Yeah, this has been by far the best, yeah, sure. the biggest, the most room to grow. It's been yeah. awesome. I don't want to move. I don't want to move again either. We moved yeah. a lot <laughs> for like a year. It's awful. Ooh, that rig. John got professional at taking that rig down. Yeah, that's the easy part. It's those stupid mats. The mats. Good thing we sold most of those. Well, they're gone now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that rubber board. Goodness. She ain't going <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of how I got into CrossFit. Yeah. And then but still it's, here. It's I'm, cool. I'm that married you, to it. That you bring both y'all bring something different than just CrossFit to the table. So like, there's a lot to be learned. I think about bodybuilding. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Kelsey's taught us fitness. a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. it's completely different. <clears throat> different yeah. style, different different feel and everything. And then athletic background, like soccer, um, which you credit to your legs looking so good. But <laughs> I'm getting better. Like, and I'm getting better at saying it was CrossFit. Yeah, let's, let's say that it's CrossFit. <laughs> um, they did look really good when you first came in. Um, oh, you remember? Yeah. You remember that? Um, but, yeah, that's cool to have that mindset because – Everybody coming in the gym is coming from different backgrounds too. So yeah. just having that knowledge is pretty, mm-hmm. it's pretty important. Be well rounded. Yeah, it's been great. So tell us about you. Yeah. yeah. So I actually did CrossFit. I started for the first time in high school. And who got you into it? Uh, well, it was actually Brett Ellis. Uh, I think it was your sister and no, brother. That was, give that credit where credit's That's due. when I joined. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so I did it uh, at Rabid yeah. with Brett uh, in high school. I got the school to sign off for him to sign off. Oh, that's I could, right. I could go for enrichments. For, yeah, he yeah. had to work out oh, just as leave a, school. He had what? to do CrossFit in high school yeah. as a class. Um, Shouldn't we get back to that? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. That's it nice. was great. Yeah. It really was. Um, so that was, and that was a lot of fun. It was usually just me and him or me and maybe one or two other people. Um so that's where I kind of get introduced to it. And I enjoyed it a lot, but I, my main focus was still baseball at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and football a little bit. But then uh, I didn't really do anything. As soon as I graduated high school, I was just kind of lazy and for a year, first year of college. And then I, I got, I felt like I was getting skinny. I didn't like it. So I know. Don't right? you wish we had that problem? Such a yeah. difficult problem that well, I was getting chunky, so I came. You yeah. were getting skinny, so you came. <laughs> I feel like I needed to do something, so I uh, started just meathead working out, just mm. straight up. Didn't really know what I was doing that much. I mean, I'd worked out because of sports, but uh, a lot of bench press, not a lot of squats, um, bench press and curls. <laughs> oh, Kirby! Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kirby for um, always doing and upper I got, body. I got pretty big. I, I, uh, I gained like 30 pounds in a matter of three or four months, like fast. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so I was hitting it hard and eating a lot. So I got up to, like, 213, which is heavy for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I kind of got bored with it because that's the, that's the downside of called meathead working out, right? It's yeah. just repetitive, which is yeah. not a bad thing. Um, but I just want to do something else. So Lydia and David were going to CrossFit. Um, and so I tried it out with them. And the rest is history after a while. Brett asked me if I want, might want to be a coach, and I was like, sure. I wasn't very good at coaching when I first started. <laughs> that really doesn't surprise me. Yeah. You're great now, but that doesn't surprise me when you started out. Um, yeah, it was really bad. I would not let me coach. No. Um, so, but I'm, I'm <laughs> glad that he did. So, well, that's I'm great. He, he gave you a shot. Yeah, so that was <clears> back <throat> in 2014, and yeah, almost 10 years later. That's we crazy. Nine years. Yeah. Yeah. One decade. Yeah, been, that's awesome. been coaching and working out. CrossFit yeah. style. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Well, uh, going off of that, explain kind of how you got into Fellow, because you talked a lot about Rabbit. Mm-hmm. So explain that. Yeah, so coached at Rabbit for uh, two years, and then got in my senior year of college and, and really didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Um, Those people who do, I'm so envious. Yeah, I know. Um, but... I just figured it would work out. It did, um, so far anyway. Um, <laughs> so uh, I just happened to kind of be in the right place at the right time, I feel like. So Brett and actually Mark Almarode and then Brian Nelson came in together. They, uh, Brian and Brett you know, went to ride together. Mark was over here. They went in and decided to open up a CrossFit gym in Jacksonville 2014. I was kind of a part of it because I coached at Rabbit and knew those guys. I say I was a part of it. I helped put in some mats and stuff when they were doing it. And I, they let me work out in between classes. Um, but I still did most of my working out at uh, Rabbit. Sometimes I would fill in and coach over at Thello, um, but not very much. Um, you lived in Gadsden. I lived in Gadsden, okay. yeah. Yeah, I lived in Gadsden the whole time. So um, towards the end of my senior year, like my last, well, right before my last semester, I overheard Brian and Brett talking about kind of wanting to sell it um, because uh, the guy who was running it at the time he had to get another job, and so they, uh, Brian was like, hey, you should you should buy from us. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I, I didn't know what I was gonna do, so. Mm-hmm. 
And I texted him later. I can't remember if he texted me or I texted him, but I was like, hey, I'm kind of serious about that. You know, if, uh, if that could be something we could do, let's talk about it. And so we did. And um, my last semester of college, I started coaching at Thello full time, all the classes, minus those was a few assistant coaches too that would take care of some afternoons. But then doing that in school, and then we kind of worked it out where I, uh, I bought it at the end as soon as I graduated. Um, and that was in 2016. Mm -hmm. So it had been open for two years, just over two years when I took over. Um, How'd they like you when you first took over? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's, uh, you have to ask, you have to ask the people. There's like, what, four or five people that were members then that are still members now. And yeah. uh, you'll have to ask them. I wasn't, I wasn't a good coach still. I, I've come That's a long a way. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> um, so I'm definitely glad that people stuck with me. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy ride um, hmm. since then. For sure, because after, what was it, two years after I took over, a tornado hit. Yep, 2018. Um, condemned that building, mm -hmm. and then we had to move around to Sparks Building, and then we got evicted because we were being too loud. <laughs> and then the storefront, and then ended up here. I've been <clears> so <throat> many places. Yeah. I look at that Sparks Building, and I'm like, how did y'all run up those hills? Oh, it was right horrible. There. It was horrible. Thank God. Of all the places that we've been, was so I fun, think though. that was my favorite run. It was loop. so fun. Like, because yes. it, the hills added so much to it. It like, was so fun. Yeah. It really it was, was enjoyable. There were a couple workouts I'll never forget there. And like just the way it flowed, like it had to flow, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. That, I say I loved it. I'm so much happier here. It was a good season yeah. that I'm glad. Glad <laughs> is done. But it was, ha it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. That place was kind of cool because it forced us to program differently. Because mm -hmm. the way it was set up. We had to be a little creative but it was like shotgun style right like mm -hmm. 15 foot wide and then like I don't know 100 foot long wow. and so when you ran if you ran like loops you would just run out one door and you came in the other side mm -hmm. so in that way it like was kind of like some of y'all cool. cheaters do here well, uh -huh. you're running the loop dinner. can't call uh -huh. any names <laughs> just <laughs> did <laughs> so, dropping them I love it, I love it. <laughs> call them out yeah that was a, that was a neat place um and then the storefront was uh, we need that we were desperate at that point. Yes. When we moved into the storefront, I don't know if some of the people remember this, but it was all offices. It was like, like four offices on each side, three offices yeah, on each side. Yeah, it was it was Walls, crazy. Walls, a hallway, yeah. So the demolition that had to happen um, to get that up and running was was nuts. That was Let a me lot just of say work. we have some great great members yeah because they have helped us as much as we have moved they have moved and yeah. they have helped us like they helped us demo everything helped us with the mats helped us with their trucks load things up and move like oh absolutely there's no way we could have done that without yeah. all of our members helping us yeah for sure which is really cool yeah it's awesome we wouldn't have made it no i told somebody the other day all the stuff that we've kind of the amount of times we moved and stuff we've been through if i would have had a second option probably would have gave up on this and taking that <laughs> I so, remember talking about but, that after the tornado yeah like just not knowing what to do and yeah we didn't have another option though so but I'm thankful we didn't have it. another yep. option because this has been wonderful <clears throat> you're desperate you gotta figure it out yeah that's right um yeah so um moved here 2020 mm -hmm. COVID hit mm -hmm. We had what a new baby. A, what a time yeah. to be alive. COVID hit. We had a new baby. The parking lot was the issue. We had a lot going on from February till May when we actually got to open the doors. Because we couldn't open the doors yeah. for a long time because of the parking lot. Yeah, that, was a, that was a big issue. Uh -huh. So y'all, could y'all have worked out here if y'all had the parking lot? Uh, yeah. Well, we, we weren't supposed to be We did anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and the city was like, hey, you're not supposed to. Um, work out the parking lot's done and, and we did our best to like respect that yeah. and, but then at the same time we wanted to give people kind of a place to work out mm -hmm. so it was like just do the best you can some days we're outside the mm -hmm. workout was fully outside some days we would come inside and do stuff but it was much less structured it was just kind of get by mm -hmm. but I remember that January the parking lot was supposed to be done like by January mm -hmm. 1st mm -hmm. it rained it had to rain 20 something days out of the 30 days of January. Oh my gosh. So they just couldn't do it and it didn't get done until the beginning of February. Um, but that was a huge, 
I was, I was rough there for a little bit. It was in February that they did it. Yeah, they finished. Later. Okay. Yeah, they finished in February, yeah. but uh, they may have been towards the end of February. Yeah. But either way, like we had already moved out completely mm -hmm. of the other building. We were done with our lease, so we had to, you know, kind of set up shop here. Mm -hmm. People were parking over there, walking through this side of the warehouse. Yeah. It was. It was, it was something rough. else. Yeah. It was something happen. else. We made it happen. Um, so, but that was good times. Yeah. Good times. We learned a lot. Good times. Um, well, I guess we've kind of gotten a little bit into the, the gym history, too. Uh, yeah. Just kind of where it was. Um, I guess we can kind of talk about when you took over. Mm -hmm. Like, just how it was different then mm -hmm. versus what we kind of transitioned to. Yeah. Um, and kind of where we see it going. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, a lot different um, as far as the class structure, mm -hmm. just the way I programmed, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Um, Have you programmed from the beginning? Yes. Now there's been some like months or I would try out different programmings mm -hmm. and things like that, but just to kind of learn. Yeah. Um, when I first started programming, I really didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I was pretty good at throwing together a good workout um, every day, but there wasn't really like, hey, this is where we're starting and this is where we're going. Yeah. And then there wasn't much thought put into it for that. Um, so as I've progressed, I guess, and gotten better at it, now there's definitely an intentional progressive overload over time. There's some peaking seasons and then different strength cycles and things like that that mm -hmm. we'll definitely add in there. So um, that has changed a ton. Um, and as, as I learned stuff in school, um, I kind of apply that to the gym as well and, and just different research and stuff that we do or that I do um, I'll apply that to our programming and it's not like I can't really tell you how programming has changed specifically people yeah. say it all the time like hey I know your programming's changed in the past year um, I can't really tell what it is but you can definitely tell it's shifted and it does mm -hmm. but I just kind of shift it as I I guess learn new things mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna be better for everybody um, because what's what's your goal when you program um, yeah, so I was talking about this this week with somebody actually. This is, we could do a whole podcast on this and other stuff. Just Maybe do we a, will. like a so snippet. Number one, number one focus when I'm programming is, and some might laugh at this, is is this going to be something that people are going to come in and actually enjoy? Mm -hmm. So the experience is number one. Yeah. Second mm -hmm. to that is is it going to be effective at getting you fitter? Yeah. But that doesn't come first. Um, I want you to. If you, if you don't have some sort of a good time, right, um, in some way, whether it's just accomplishment, you feel good after the workout, if that's not there, you're not going to keep coming back. Yeah. So that's priority number one. Um, and then obviously making sure we're getting a good workout in. Um, that's something that we can progress over time. Okay. So, yeah. And yeah, we can definitely do another podcast that, that's a, specifically yeah. on your programming. We'll definitely have to do that. Because it has evolved a lot over the mm -hmm. last, I've been here for, when did I start, 2016? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many years is that? That's seven years. Oh! Coming up on seven years. Woo! Oh, look at me go! go. That decade. Uh, Woo! Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely changed a lot. And it's, it's one of my favorite things to yeah, do. Yeah, it's really cool to have seen it evolve. Yeah. And I, I think that a lot of us appreciate that you, you uh, are not going to back down from keeping us fit, keeping us engaged, keeping us... Uh, moving in the right direction yeah you know what I mean like you're, keep... you're you're always you're always doing research you're always looking you're always listening right. and asking for other people's opinions and advice when it comes to this stuff so right. I think uh, that's, a, that's appreciated ears, for sure yeah try to keep my ears open uh to what I hear from like feedback from yeah. people in the gym whether yeah. it's hey I hate this drink cycle or hey this is really <laughs> good um sometimes disliking it's not a bad thing as yeah. long as it's you yeah know, getting you stronger yeah for sure whatever way for sure um I definitely can appreciate like the thought you put in because like I've been to a gym and I guess you have too where some you weren't programming mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. like it's most people that have come here they haven't had somebody else program mm -hmm. workouts you know what I mean it's very different other places I tell people all the time like um, that are dropping in and maybe, maybe this is their first ever CrossFit class mm -hmm. I'm like Hey, just you know, just so you know, every CrossFit gym is different. Yes. Like you're gonna have a different experience. <clears throat> you might even do different workouts. You know what I mean? And just the way you program, like even like strength cycles, it's for people to get better. It's not mm -hmm. just like you know, 
pointless. Let's see what we're going to do yeah, today. Let me yeah. just, you know, pick one out of the hat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it can very be too random. Yeah. Too yeah. random is not a good thing. Varied yeah. is good, but random is not always yeah. is not always good. So um, it is something I definitely love to do. Yeah. Um, um, well, I guess we were talking about the just the gym in general, mm-hmm. uh, kind of where it was. We talked about that, kind of where we're at now, and uh, where do you see the gym? Like, what what is... I know we've talked about this a lot, but like, where do we want the gym to be in the next couple of years? Uh, yeah, obviously we'd like it to you know keep growing. It's it's been fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, I really want people to uh, to enjoy it. Right, mm-hmm. it's a place to come work, do a workout that you actually enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, you look forward to coming to. Exercise in and of itself is you know is difficult. Right, you have to. It's uncomfortable yeah. no matter what It's not what easy, you do. that's yeah. for sure. Um, but there's other factors that we could put in, like just looking forward to whether it be seeing your friends at the gym or just the overall experience of the workout, the thought. You know, some people nerd out on the on the workouts and they mm-hmm. love the fact that, you know, there's there's reasoning behind certain things and whether it be the tempo or the reps, whatnot. So all those kind of things of just in, enjoying the workout, having a good place for that. Um, but yeah, I think it I think it will grow, you know, as we keep progressing. I want the whole, you know, I guess, area as a whole to respect what we do in the sense of, you know, even if you don't like it, like, hey, they do a very good job at what they do. Mm-hmm. Their, their attention to detail is, mm-hmm. is great. The coaches really care about you. You're mm-hmm. seen when you come in the door. So um, sometimes it's easy to just see the CrossFit name yeah. and then you kind of get a – Sometimes a bad idea, not always, of if you had a bad experience or whatnot. Yeah. Um, because like Kelsey yeah. said, every CrossFit gym is different. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of CrossFit yeah. as a whole. But it that takes is one bad experience, yes. you know, to have and that And just that bitter. name, yeah. yes. And I think that's something we've worked very hard against. We love CrossFit, obviously. We're a CrossFit gym. That's where we started. Um, but we want to be more than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we've, like... There's people that have had bad experiences here. Yeah. You know, and that's oh, yeah. something we obviously want to try to eliminate as much as possible. But um, I like to think of it as like CrossFit gave me a pretty easy entry into running a gym mm-hmm. and owning a business, mm-hmm. um, which is super cool. But at the same time, I'm not necessarily just following CrossFit like whatever they do as far as whatever they think is the best workout possible I'm not necessarily going to follow that I'm going to take my knowledge from school masters Mm -hmm. experience from exercising and I'm going to create the best workout program that I think is for you know our people yeah make it personal yeah Yeah. Yeah. it's very personal and um, I think this style of working out is to me it's the most enjoyable not everybody likes it right and there's some some, people can work out by themselves and they're we don't need us. Better than me. Yeah. yeah. I you need, can write I need your own people programming and, and do all that. <clears throat> you, you don't need us. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, uh, I like to make it our own. I don't, yeah. I don't follow, again, just strictly CrossFit. So we don't. So uh, I think that comes through in the way we coach yeah. as well. Yeah. Let's talk about our coaches really fast. Yeah. I know that we're all here besides Shane. Uh, yeah. But we have a, a pretty core group. We've always had some pretty great coaches, you know, like we've yeah. – from when you first started, which you had different coaches, and then when mm-hmm. I came, we, we added some, we've lost some over the years, and I think something we've always wanted is just consistency with mm-hmm. our, our coaches, and, and uh, we have that. You know, we have we have really uh, two awesome coaches, and then Jordan is starting to work her way into that, and she's awesome also, mm-hmm. and I think it's just something that we have needed and wanted for so long, um, the consistency side of it, yeah. and then people who are able to pour into the gym just like you know they they trust us yeah. they love us yeah. they want to see it grow just as much as we do and that's right. that's awesome so shout out to you Kels oh, shout yeah. out to you Shane Thanks. shout out to you Jordan <laughs> uh, we are very yeah. thankful for our coaching staff for, for sure. sure we for are sure. we're this, I think that we have some of the best coaches uh, mm-hmm. around for sure yeah this is the by far the I think the most consistent we've had yeah uh, most, we've had some awesome coaches in the past not to sure say anything bad about them they've been wonderful too um but it's just like you said the consistency and that the ability to be able to put that yeah I mean it's hard 
I think all of our other coaches in the past had young kids, and now we're in that yeah. position, and it's it's wow. hard uh, to give your all, and then also to your family. So uh, we're just in a good spot right yeah. now with our coaches. We're, well, we're thankful the, for that. The gym has grown enough to where we can give back some more to the yes. coaches than yes. we could in yes. the past. Yes. That's, to make it, that's make super it helpful. better for them, yeah, um, for sure. But, yeah, so you hit on it a little bit, Kelsey, but – as a coach, like what was that like CrossFit coach specifically? What helped you out to become a coach? I know you started at Stoked, mm-hmm. right? And we kind of pulled you over here. We saw right to me. Cause, in. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, we needed you yes. um, desperately at that point. Um, yeah. Uh, so I just love uh, like perfect movement. I know mm-hmm. it, it doesn't happen often. Yes, yes. <laughs> but but uh, I do. I love like. And I love CrossFit, you know what I mean? Like, I love the whole thing together and then helping people. Mm -hmm. Like, I love, you know, helping someone reach their goals. So, I think I got my level one in March of 2020. What a time. Oh, man. Right before COVID? Right before COVID. Wow. Yeah, right before it all shut down, I did it. Thank God. Yeah, uh, for yeah. real. Uh, so Good did that. So then I didn't coach for a while mm-hmm. because nothing was open, you yeah. know. So, um, and then I started coaching at Stoked, and as far as like style and stuff, they don't they don't have much like leeway, and that's just again, you know, every the beauty CrossFit. of CrossFit. Yeah, yep. Yep. every yep. gym is different, <laughs> and uh, and so I really didn't like, you know. I just kind of dipped my toe in the coaching mm-hmm. because they had a they have a lot of coaches mm-hmm. yeah. and you know Buffy and Anthony they're, they're both were were at the time full time and uh, and so then I came here and I was kind of back and forth a little bit uh, coaching there and then coaching here and then here you were like hey you know you can do your own warm up mm-hmm. and you know like we're all different but like you know, the principles are still yes, the same. Yes, you know, yes, we yes. all have, like, the same values or, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, and so I started dipping my toe in that and, mm-hmm. like, you know, being a little bit more creative mm-hmm. and stuff like that, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I just had my level one at that point, and then me and you went and got our level two. This when past September. That? Oh, July. Was... July. It was this past <laughs> July. She's <laughs> so long ago. It was. Yeah, so we got our level two in July, which was a great experience. So I fun. highly suggest so everyone fun. get their level two. Yes. Um, and and yeah, I just I love coaching, just yeah. helping yeah. people, hazing people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all the good I know, things about I know. it. The relationships that are built are so fun. Like, yeah. That has been something like the the relationships from athletes in here that we've gotten to see like. I don't know if they would have met if it weren't for the oh, gym. Oh, for sure. You know? I like, wouldn't have met any of the people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's so cool because they're awesome relationships and there's some good banter with people. Mm-hmm. And Yeah, I wouldn't have met my husband. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's weird. <laughs> Me too. Weird to say. Well, look at that. CrossFit, friends. building relationships. It does. Marriages. There's been quite a few uh, relationships, relationships come out of the gym. Yeah. We've got yeah. We'll have to write it down one day. <laughs> yeah, see how many. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That is that's really, cool, that's been something cool to see. Like, as coaches, we get to see those relationships, like, not just romantically, but, like, friendships being built, yeah. and uh, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I yeah. was thinking about that with Mike this morning <laughs> yeah. Rebecca was going around yes. with the video, like, hey, this is me before the workout. Yeah. It's like, you know, like, we're all a little bit younger than Mike, yes. and then there's Mike, and he's just in there. He's and wonderful. He's awesome. He, he does. He does love <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, there's so many people that have friendships that they probably would not have outside of the gym yeah because you just hey you respect each other for working out and working out hard and then you're friends you know and you do it together yep. like it's not a partner workout but you yep. both went through the same workout together you yep. just felt the same thing suffering <laughs> suffering together uh but yeah it's been it's been enjoyable to see yep. all of that with our coaches mm-hmm. and our athletes mm-hmm. it's been awesome yeah yes so kate what about you as, as a coach um talk about when you got started but you coach crossfit now you're coaching ignite as well yeah my ignite people i love mm-hmm. them but my crossfitters yeah. too <laughs> yeah so uh it's pretty similar in the dynamic between coaching crossfit and ignite but you know tell us about like the differences a little bit but then you're just whole 
I guess, philosophy behind coaching. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do oh, with your gosh. coaching? Yeah. What am I trying to do? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where does that come from? Uh, <clears throat> so Ignite, I'll just start with like talking about that, how we kind of got started on that. Uh, I guess it was, I think I was, it was before we got pregnant with Emma. Mm -hmm. uh, we had always said we wanted to be more than a CrossFit gym. Just we wanted to give it, give something for everybody in the community of Jacksonville. Because we know, we've talked about it a little, CrossFit can be intimidating or just a bad taste in your mouth. Uh, not everybody wants to lift a barbell. Not everybody wants to do gymnastics, like stuff on the rig, flipping upside down. I still don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and we had kind of dabbled in, some people that have been here for a while, we did uh, a move uh, option to yeah. the CrossFit workouts. Yeah. Um, was it like... That was chaotic. It was very chaotic for the coaches and Did the athletes. Saw sub barbell and gymnastics? Yes. Yes. So it, it, yes. It, uh, it was the same thing as CrossFit would do, but it would be not a barbell and okay. no gymnastics. Right. So um, now that didn't get anybody new in the door. That was just an option if like, hey, I'm, I'm sore today. I don't want to lift super heavy or I just don't want to swing on the rig today, which yeah, is still a great option. That is kind of crazy though. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's just too much going on. It's the coach. It was like having two different workouts. You're trying to get one group going and then another group, they're doing the move. So you're like, okay, this is what the movement looks like with a dumbbell instead of a barbell. Mm -hmm. And then you're not looking at this group because they're doing something different. And it was just too much kind of to run yeah. at the same time. So. And we've seen other gyms kind of model kind of, that. And we just couldn't really figure it yeah. out well enough. Some gyms do it very, very they well. They do, well, yeah. yeah but well. I think that we I think we are very intentional on our like, like as as a coaching staff, we want to be like all up in your business yeah. when you're working. Hands you know, on. like yeah, we very want to make on. sure you're doing it well, and that was really hard for us. So it was it was a struggle. Uh, so we got rid of that, and then we had Emma, <clears throat> and we started. I mean, I don't know. After you've had a kid. You kind of get lost in the kid and, and, COVID. and COVID goodness. It was just a crazy year. So we started Ignite in 2020, the summer of 2020, I think the end of July, beginning of August, sometime around there. Uh, and the first couple of workouts, I think Sarah and Stacy were the first. They, they've been the OGs from the beginning. What was your class time? Or like how many classes? We, just we had one. Yeah. Just one at... It was 9 a.m. I guess it was 9. Or was it 8? I don't think 30. it was an 8. I think it was 9. Yeah. Just the one time, and it was supposed to be 45 minutes long, but I like to talk, so. Yeah. It was an hour. It, it lasted the whole time, but it was, it was like, just two people. You know how things first start out, and I had them doing all kind of crazy stuff. Like, we did burpee broad jumps. We did, like, wall ball tosses, which are wonderful tools, but once our classes started getting bigger, it was just a little bit more, more challenging to add those in, even though we did burpee broad jumps across it the other day, and everyone They're coming back. They're, They're coming so back. They're coming back. Don't you worry. They're coming back. Don't so. you worry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, when did Ignite really popped? 2021? January? Was, I think it was spring of 2021. Yeah, January 2021. Yeah. Uh, that, that whole spring, it just blew up. And we had like four classes at that point, I think. We had to. We had yeah, to we started adding a lot more classes. Two in the morning, two um, in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, and then... We kept that for a long time, and then recently we've dropped, dropped back down to one in the morning and one, yeah. or two in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, a good little crew now. Yeah, they are awesome, yeah, and they are great. dedicated. And it's great. One of the, the funnest things about Ignite, because I didn't, I was not here when CrossFit Delo started, so I did not get to know those people yeah. like that, you know, uh, those type of people that were coming in. I, I just didn't, I'd never started anything. So Ignite, we, we started that, and getting to... <clears throat> hear all these people's backgrounds and like their movement patterns and um it can be a bit challenging as coaches I mean we've all we've all been there uh trying to rewire some movements that they have potentially done in the past uh but the best thing about Ignite is like they wanted to do it they were they were uh or they are so um bought in yeah bought in and dedicated and I mean, don't get me wrong. They like to tell me how much they oh, pay sassy. a workout. Oh, yeah. They're they're a real movement. sassy, curvy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they'll, let us, they'll let us know real quick when they don't like something. But they still do it. They still show up. Yeah. Even on those yeah. big burpee days and yeah, sure. all this stuff. Um, but it's it's definitely different than CrossFit. And that's, that's super cool. And that's what we want. We wanted a different crowd. We wanted a different um, aspect to Ignite versus CrossFit. Um, and I think we've, we've got that. It's yep. it's still intense. We like the intensity. I think that that's one of the things 
as our gym, we do and we do appreciate an intense workout together. Yeah. It just I think that brings a community together in a way. <clears throat> um, and it we don't do gymnastics, we don't do barbell, we don't do any of that stuff. We want people to get comfortable moving. You know, like this is longevity is what we're looking for yeah. in CrossFit and at night. You know, we're looking for both of those. But it's, it's just been exciting to get some people in the door that maybe haven't worked out since middle school uh high school um and they're coming in here and they're they're killing it you know mm -hmm. they're doing all this stuff but it's been it's been fun and you know we've added added shane to coaching some big night stuff oh. and he has been talking to me about that lately and just how much he, he loves it and yeah. like, i don't think that he realized how much he was going to enjoy it because I think until you get into it, you don't really know. Yeah. Um, yeah. People have their ideas, but it, it is very different than CrossFit. The community is very different than CrossFit. Yeah. But it's similar, if that makes yeah. any sense. Um, I have to yeah. be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep talking. Um, but yeah, it's been. Uh, we have loved that adding ignite to the gym. We've yeah. loved that. We've loved yeah. all of the people that have come in the door through that. Um, it's been different for us as coaches, and John has taken over program in the last six months. Yeah, six months or so, um, which I love to tell people so they can yell at you and not me. <laughs> um, you did a very good job of programming, but at the time that I took over, it was, it was just needed. easier for it me. It was to, needed. My yeah. brain was on overload. So yeah, I love programming too, but um, you're so good at it, and you are a head programmer for sure. Well, it's it is something. It's fun. I think just like. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people, and it's getting better, right? Um, we'll see at night is the easier of the two classes sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. until until you've done both, and you're like, wait, that's that's not easier. Yeah. Um, what did Todd call it? Zumba? Zumba. Yeah. We to try one. The, the difference is just like the heavy weight of a barbell yeah. or hanging on the rig. But it's funny because a lot of our CrossFitters are, I, I wouldn't say scared. I mean, I say that to joke, but like they're intimidated yeah. a little bit by a guy because it's longer workouts, it's body weight or more it's it's reps. rest weight. It's a lot, a lot of reps. Of reps. Yeah. And like you can go faster, you know, if it's yeah. not as heavy, you can, you don't really have an excuse to go yeah. slower. Um, so that's, that's something that I think that they are proud of. They're proud of the, the length of their workouts. Yeah. They're proud that they can get through those workouts. Sure. And something that I think is really cool is it's not one or the other. You know, you can do both. You can do Ignite, yeah. you can do CrossFit. We've got a lot of people that do that. We've got a lot of people that have gone from Ignite and they've gotten a lot of confidence and they go to CrossFit and yeah. they have excelled in CrossFit. Yeah. Um, that's not the goal of Ignite necessarily, but for some people it is. And yeah. um, we've enjoyed seeing a lot of our Igniters go to CrossFit um, and our Igniters are cheering them on. Yeah. You know, like it, it's a cool separate communities, but they appreciate each other, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Well, I, we've had CrossFitters uh, go to at night too. Yes. Go the opposite way. Yes. And there's benefits. There's benefits to both. Yes. There's definitely benefits to adding a heavy weight of some sort of barbell. Yes. Um, to exercise that you can't get from just body weight mm -hmm. or light weight. Um, however, doing more frequent long duration workouts that mm -hmm. you're going to have at night or a little bit longer. You can hold that intensity a little bit longer because it's not heavy or anything like that. That adds a different dynamic mm -hmm. that we don't get in CrossFit mm -hmm. um, all the time. So there's benefits to both. Yeah, you can sure. you can get most of your fitness goals though from either one. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. just a preference yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, if, if you like a heavy barbell, hey, look, you're probably gonna like CrossFit better. Mm -hmm. If you don't like a barbell, and don't want to touch it, it's still nice. But you can get your goals either. Way. Yeah, I like to dabble back and forth. Yeah, like a good. Yeah, for Back sure. Because like there are some days where I don't want to lift heavy, but I want to move and I want to sweat it. So let me do a night workout. But then there's days where I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm going to just crush some weight, you know, and I'm going to go over and do CrossFit stuff. Yeah. There's, like you said, there's benefits to both. And then mentally, pick what you want to do. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. What, how are you feeling that day? I do want to say this about Ignite. Oh, gosh. Guys, Here we go. my guys, Here we go. I've got like three guys that are pretty consistent, like fellas. Fellas. Why, why, why guys so scared of Ignite? It's, so they're scared. Todd, why are you scared? Oh. <laughs> Call them out again. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm dropping names. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, mean, I thought you were going to answer 
I'm just saying, guys, where are you? I get it. I get it. Because, I mean, my, my stories, I think that they think that it's a ladies' class. Um, maybe because I'm a lady doing it. I don't know. But we got Shane over there. Yeah. Coach, uh, bring your husband day. A bring your husband day. Good. That would be really fun. These ladies would run circles around their Yeah, husbands. they would. And that's probably would why they don't win. come. Honestly, that's probably why they don't come. I bet you'd run circles around me in some of those workouts. I always do, John. Well, I'm not all of them. <laughs> see about this absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say, let's go. <laughs> That's, that's a different yeah, that's CrossFit. Yeah, we're, we're talking about that. That's true. You're right. You're right. Oh, boy. Uh, but, yeah, we need to get more guys in there. Come on. Yeah, Kirby needs a buddy. Seth needs a buddy. Jordan needs a buddy. I agree. And they, they, they end up killing it. They yeah. don't know bitch sometimes. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, don't be scared of Ignite. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot great. of fun. Yeah. It really is. So, uh, funny story. Oh. I went to the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, old buddy that went in there before me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Took the toilet seat off. And, yeah, I don't really, I don't understand. Because I looked at the toilet and I was like, ah, there's, there's a there was a toilet seat here. Am I right? Yeah. And uh, it's not there anymore. So, I had to hover, which brought me to my question about <laughs> pelvic floor. Yeah, you ain't supposed You're to right. hover. You're not supposed to do that, I hear. No, you're not. So what's not. the alternative in this situation? Yeah, well, that's a situation. The cold. No, I would never. I'm a person. Stand on and squat. When it's hot, I can't. Now you better for your pelvic floor. Yeah, you're not supposed to hover. There's a little pelvic floor women's health for you, but I do when it comes to like porta potties. I'm hovering all day. Oh yeah. Lydia would get mad at me for that. So, so I'm hovering all somebody day. Somebody just jacked our toilet seat. Well, it's, it's in there. there. It's just not it's on not there. It's not on there. What? Yeah, pretty much. So I had to offer. Call her landlord. Call Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, Josh, let's go. HR. <laughs> well, funny. any last thoughts, guys? This is a good first podcast. Yeah. It was. Yeah, lots of fun Sad stuff. Shane's not here. I know. Maybe, maybe, we'll maybe he'll pass his drug test. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Shane is slowly fading out. Nah. Wolf we'll firefighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk, we'll stuff. let Shane introduce himself next week. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, if there's any topics y'all want us to cover, just shoot us a message. Or I don't really know how this podcast thing works. So I don't know if you can comment on something. I, I don't know how this yeah, thing goes. We'll We're we'll figuring figure it out. out as we go. Uh, but y'all just let us know. I know nutrition. We know nutrition is a big thing. That's going to be a long podcast, okay. possibly broken up into two or three yeah, different. Yeah, we'll have, have probably mature several on that because yeah. there's so many different avenues you can take with talking about nutrition. But. Yeah. Um, um, we'll definitely talk about that. Um, we're going to try to do these weekly, but y'all know how you know, kids. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Sometimes me or you may not be here. Yeah. But, you know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah we're going to try to do these weekly and, uh, yep. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Dropping names and pacing people. Oh, yeah. Y'all better watch out what you say to the coaches now. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to call out. <laughs> Especially during the open. Oh boy, yeah. oh boy, yep. First Friday Night Lights tonight. We got we'll this. Guys. We got this. It'll be good. Yeah, we'll be. How do y'all, where do y'all think y'all are going to get to? I hope I get to the muscle ups and get one. But I don't know, it's a lot of work to be done. It is a lot of work to get there. And then you got to be composed. John, I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, where it's, do you think you're going to get to? I, I will get into the muscle ups. But I'm not sure how far. 20 is a lot. 20 is a lot. I've done this workout a bunch. I've never finished the muscle ups. 18 is the most I've ever done. And let's be honest, you are not in the shape you were a few years ago. Nope. Not in tip top shape. Yeah. <laughs> <He>, uh, <laughs> but he did put a freaking muscle up. Not even warmed up. <laughs> how did that feel? I had regrets. Did you do that? <laughs> I saw him. He was doing this right here. He's like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> It wasn't the best idea, but um, yeah, we'll see. I, I I would like to try to beat my previous, like when I did this back in 2014. I think that was my first or second. You got to 18, right? I know. I oh, got to 10. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, when I got to 18 was several years later. Yeah. I just did this workout a lot for fun. Yeah. How, how um, long have you been doing CrossFit? Before when I did the, before the first one. one. Yeah. Um, let's see. I started in 2013, oh. so... <laughs> So I hadn't been doing it that long. I, I was. So you've been doing this for ten years. You've been. This is ten years. This is ten years. Not a, like, open, but this is, yeah, it was. You yeah. started like maybe yeah, summer yeah. or something. Sorry, it was 2013. Okay. I think I said 2014 earlier, but it was 2013. Okay. Um, You're a master. 
Yeah. Junior master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think it was my first open though ever because I started in fall of 2013. Anyway, I've been doing CrossFit for like six or seven months when I did this workout. And you got 10. I got 10. Muscles. 10 I know, muscles. That's insane. And I did it again. That's insane. I did it again. And again. And I got 11. Muscle ups, right? Like I did it again in the next day, yeah. the very next day. Yeah. And I think I did it the day after that too, because I thought I was going to the games. And I, I mean, we went to the games. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't compete. We were there. <laughs> that was a big punch in the face that first day. Oh. That's good. I'm sorry. Well. It's redemption, huh? I don't know about that. <laughs> I know people have gotten a lot fitter since then too. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. We're just all about it. But yeah. I'm excited about it. It'll be a good afternoon. Yeah, it'll we'll be, be fun. fun. It will be. be. Fun. Well, yeah. All right. Until next time. See ya. Is that going to be your tagline? See ya in the gym. <laughs> yes. I swear you put it on the end of the emails. Yeah, there you go. All right. Bye. See you in the gym. <laughs>